everyone, it's Tere and welcome back to my channel. So today, as I promised last time, we will be putting together my dad's altar for Day of the Dead. So that's what we're going to be setting up today. I think I got um, quite a bit of the things that he likes. Um, I might be adding things uh, last minute, uh, things that I can't get right away. Uh, but uh, this is a corner that I will be using right over here. So I have the corner set up. I'm gonna show you uh, the table that I'm gonna be using and the boxes that I'm gonna use to make the layers. So I don't have a lot of room to make like a huge altar. Um, so ofrendas usually have seven layers is what they're supposed to be having. Um, that's traditional. Uh, there is a meaning to each layer. So there is supposed to be seven. But I do the best with the space that I do have to make the altar as nice as I can. I do use the words ofrenda and altar interchangeably, just whatever pops in my head at the time. So just so you know, I'm speaking of the same things when I say those two words. So yeah, I will show you what I use. So I only make my ofrenda three layers because that is the space that I do have. Um, in order to make it seven layers, you kind of need like a pretty big starting base. And I don't have that. And uh, thankfully, I, I only have to make an altar for my dad. I don't have a super huge ofrenda to make. I don't have a lot of people to add. So yes, I am actually very thankful that I don't have a huge ofrenda to make. But I still make it as nice as I can for my dad. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. Because like I mentioned before, this is very, very special to me. And this means a lot uh, this time of year along with his birthday mean very much to me. Uh, these are the two days that I get to really reflect on him and, you know, remember those times with him. And that just makes it all the better. And I really do believe that he does come back during the Day of the Dead and he gets to enjoy all these things and he gets to be here with me. And this year I'm so excited because uh, my baby is here. So he gets to meet her. So that's really exciting for me. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I will be angling you guys down a little bit so you can uh, see that and you can see the process of me adding things. I'll tell you what I'm adding to the altar. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so now that I have you down here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the space that I have, the little table. So this is what I will be using uh, for my main layer. So that is my main layer for the altar. Uh, like I said, I make it three. I don't have uh, other things to make layers with besides uh, boxes that I've gotten uh, from things that I've ordered in the mail. So just keep that in mind. I will be using boxes to make my layers. All right, so I'm gonna be using this Amazon box to make my second layer. I'm just gonna place it right down here in the middle and I'm just gonna have a final very tiny third one um, that's just going to prop up my dad's picture, which is the thing that goes right at the top. This is the box that I'm using, so I'm kind of the size of my head. So this is what I will be using right now for my last layer. Alright guys, so now that I have those three layers, my next component is the tablecloth. have that right here. So the tablecloth is uh, white. That is what I've always known that you're supposed to have. It's supposed to be a white tablecloth. I'm sure other people do other things. Um, I don't know if you can do other colors or not, but I tend to stick to white. I have that right here. I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the altar and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so I'm having a lot of trouble with this tablecloth. Um, I can't get it to look completely like straight because I think I maybe I should have gotten multiple tablecloths and maybe gotten one for each layer. But I'm just gonna make it work. It's not gonna look the prettiest, um, but it's gonna be fine. Okay, it covers the whole thing, so it'll be great. All right guys, so I got the tablecloth on there, so I'm just gonna step out of the way so you can see what that looks like. And then I'm gonna start putting in 
all the food, all the drinks, and I'll show you everything that I'm gonna put on the altar for him. But first and foremost, I'm gonna go get his picture. All right guys, so I have here the picture of my dad. Um, so this is him. Um, that is my dad. So I will go ahead and put his picture um, on the very top layer. Our first um, layer is done with my dad's picture on it. So now let's go ahead and add all his food and I'll go ahead and show you what I got him. All right guys, so first up, he is going to have um, some salt on there. Um, I did see that it's important to have salt on the altar. Um, I think I saw that it was for uh, keeping bad spirits away. Um, I'm not completely sure. Um, so, you feel free to look that up if you want to. I just know that the salt is supposed to be on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit right on there. Alright guys, next up I have this um, little cup. It does just have water on it. So, also very important. Water is also supposed to be on every single altar that you make no matter what. But I guess this water has two purposes because my dad actually used to love water. I know it's weird, but he just loved, loved water. So I'm going to go ahead and put this cup in there for him. Alright guys, so another drink that I will be adding to the altar is some coffee. You can't really see it in there, but there's coffee in there. It's just black coffee. That's why. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add that. And I do have um, also a Mexican Coke, so I will be adding that to the altar as well. I don't remember if he really drank these a lot, but I'm sure he enjoyed one from time to time. So I thought I'd put this on the altar, and if he doesn't want it, I guess he won't drink it. But I just thought I'd put it on there because who doesn't want this? Okay, so another component that you're supposed to have no matter what is white candles. So I did just get these from the dollar store. They're just plain white uh, candles. So I will be adding those to his altar. So I'm gonna rearrange. I'm probably gonna put them in the corners. You'll see. All right guys, so I do have some tamales as well for him. So I'm gonna go ahead and place those on there. I'm really excited about these. guys I also have some fruit here for him I do have some peaches here that was his favorite fruit um, I bought him a little pomegranate and papayas which he also really enjoyed and I also have here um, some guavas so they smell great um, he really liked them and also these just have to be on every altar because they just make it smell amazing Alright guys, I do have another piece of fruit here. We have uh, prickly pears or tunas. Uh, these are my favorite. I don't remember which ones were his favorite specifically, like because there's red ones, yellow ones, and green ones, but I really like the green ones, so I'm going to add those. Alright guys, and last for the foods, I'm going to put some of this. You can't really tell very well. It's a con leche. I did put it in this little cute cup. This I got last time we went to Mexico. It says San Luis Potosí. This is where we're from, so I thought that'd be pretty cool to add. And it is wrapped in saran wrap. Wrapped it in saran wrap so it doesn't get like a weird film on top of it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it. All right, guys, and last but not least, I have here Flores de Cempasuchil, also known as the Marigold. You can see them there. They're not really the prettiest. I mean, it's kind of hard to get uh, Flores de Cempasuchil here. Um, I don't know what that's about. I'm not a big plant person, so I don't know why they don't grow here or why they're so expensive. And even the ones that you find, they're not so nice like this. But I did think they could not be missing from the altar, so I will be adding those, putting these in a little vase and showing that to you. All right, guys, so I have here his flowers. So it is a small vase, but again, there was not that much to pick from, but they couldn't be missing. Even if it was just a small bouquet, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and place that on the altar for him. And guys, I do have some to spare, some that were not so pretty. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these and just kind of uh, take the petals out and sprinkle them on the altar to make it look a little bit prettier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right guys, so my dad's altar or ofrenda is done. I think it came out beautiful. Um, like I said, it's small and it might not be the prettiest or the biggest, but I do it with a lot of love and it means a lot to me. And this is what I do to wait for him uh, every year to come and enjoy his favorite food. And yeah, this, this time of year is one of my absolute favorites because I haven't had my dad for so long that this is uh, something that I really look forward to, to still feel connected to him. And like I said, this year is very special because my daughter is now here, so he gets to meet her. So I'm really looking forward to that. So this year is extra, extra special. And also, don't think I forgot the pan de muertos that I made last week. I am going to make it um, either tomorrow yeah, I'm going to make it tomorrow actually because I don't want it to get too stale or too bad for him uh, before it's time for him to enjoy it. So I did not add it to the altar currently because I do want to wait until tomorrow to put that up for him just so he can have uh, fresh bread when he does come in. So I didn't include it because I did show you guys the bread last week so you guys know kind of what it looks like and that I'm adding it. So now we'll be giving you a little bit of a close up to the altar so you can see my finished product. So here's a look at the finished product guys. Let me know what you think. There's my dad, his candles, we have his water, we have the salt that I talked about. That you can't really see that well but that's black coffee. We have the marigold flowers, then we have there some guavas, we have tamales, the Mexican coke, we have the arroz con leche, tunas, we have some papaya, peaches right there on the sides, and a pomegranate. And like I said, the pan de muerto is missing, but I will be adding that tomorrow once I bake it. I want him to have it fresh. So, I'm going to add that tomorrow, but just know that it will be there, guys. No worries. So, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed to see kind of how I put together my altar. Uh, it means a lot to me if you stayed all the way through this video because this video is very special to me. It means a lot. Uh, it's for my dad. So, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate all your support so far. It means the world to me. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. That is it for today's video. And don't forget to come back next Wednesday for some more content. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications if you haven't already. I do post every Wednesday, so just remember that if you don't have your notifications on, remember that I'm here every Wednesday. If not, Please turn on your notifications so you can be notified when I post my next video. Please share this video with your friends and any of my other videos. Go ahead and click on my channel so you can enjoy some more videos. And if there's anything that you'd like to see me do, please go ahead and comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think about the altar or what it is that you do for your ofrendas if you do celebrate this holiday. Also let me know. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video and thank you so much for being here again. So until next time, bye!